Hello everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and the time has come for me to share uh, yet another weekly trading plan. Uh, today we are going to look at the uh, Canadian dollar Japanese yen currency pair as I think uh, there are very good possibilities, uh, upcoming possibilities on this pair. As usual we are going to cover uh, at least three time frames. Um, starting from the weekly, going down to daily time frame and finishing our plan on the H4 uh, which will be our main uh, trading uh, time frame. Of course you can look for possible entries on the lower time frames like H1 and 30 but um, you should uh, consider uh, the movement and uh, where we are on the H4 as the plan is made on it. Uh, as usual, as I said, uh, live signals will be posted on our Telegram channel <coughs> where you can join from the link below this video and also on our Twitter profile. Without further ado, let's get started. Uh, what you see on the screen now is the weekly time frame of the currency pair. I have already uh, marked some of the levels we are going to talk about and what I expect from this pair in the following week or maybe more. So first of all, uh, we can see here that the price has reached this uh, very strong weekly resistance area. Uh, you can see how uh, price, the price behaved uh, previously on that area here, here, even after uh, here it bounced, it was uh, worked as a support, although here it was broken. Uh, here it worked as a resistance again for a while. Here it worked as a very strong resistance, also here, and here as a very strong uh, support. So, uh, for me, this, although it was broken here uh, in this area, uh, this level remains uh, quite strong, strong, and I believe that traders will continue uh, watching it and uh, taking appropriate actions on it. Uh, again, uh, we have a second weekly resistance right there, uh, which basically is uh, formed by those previous stops here and here, which the price made. And if we go back, you can see how uh, the price behaved first as a resistance here and then as a support here before uh, going a lot, lot down. So. <clears throat> I don't believe we will be reaching uh, this weekly resistance again. I believe that the price will reverse uh, from this weekly resistance or at least it will make a good uh, correction to those uh, three, currently four bullish candles. Uh, so here is our opportunity to uh, look for sell trades. Uh, if we see, of course, a break here, you can look for a buy trade up to this weekly resistance and then start looking for uh, possible sell trades. Now going to the daily time frame, we can see that today uh, the price is dropping down. Uh, it failed to uh, move out of this weekly resistance area. Another thing very important here to mention is this huge gap uh, that happened here over the weekend. Um, usually gaps tend to fill themselves, so I believe that uh, this is just the beginning of a move down, uh, even if it doesn't reach all the way to our target one, it most certainly will uh, fill this gap, so here is a good opportunity for around 50 pips right now uh, to, uh, to win and uh, hopefully it will continue further down. As you can see I have marked this daily uh, first daily support which will be our target one. Uh, this level acted as a very strong resistance on two occasions uh, in the near uh, past and after that it acted as a support as well here. Uh, second daily support uh, was marked here. Uh, this is our more long-term target, target 2. Again, uh, this level acted as a strong resistance. Uh, then we had a break uh, right after this consolidation inside the area, a uh, retracement close to it. Uh, here it acted as a resistance, here for me it acted as a resistance, here it acted as a support and so on. So those are the two levels that we will uh, closely look 
uh, since they tend to stop H4 trends. Now going to the H4 time frame, we can see that on the H4 we had this uh, small consolidation right here inside of the uh, weekly resistance. You can see it right here. And this consolidation was broken by a very strong uh, bearish candle. You can see there are no whips on this candle, so it was just a, a very strong push from the bears. And I expect uh, this uh, bear market, if I uh, can say that, to continue. Although we are seeing that the current H4 candle is green, I don't expect, uh, expect it to go over uh, the top here, so maybe we'll see some correction on the lower time frames uh, back to this uh, consolidation and then a continuation further down. So uh, this is our chance here. Uh, we'll look for um, possible opportunities, maybe on the lower time frames uh, to, for the price to finish this small correction here and uh, enter into a sell trade or uh, we can wait for the daily uh, uh, daily candle to close and uh, hopefully we'll see a bearish engulfing here which will be a very strong signal that this weekly resistance is monitored by uh, the traders and will most likely hold. Uh, this is it, as I said our first target is all the way down here so this gives us room for around 200 pips of profit and uh, the second uh, uh, daily support and target to is uh, close to 300 pips. Uh, so enough room for the pair to breathe if we can if we turn the 200 uh, moving average uh, we can see where it is so as I said enough room for the price to make a good correction or a downtrend here and if we turn also the Ichimoku you can see where it is still enough room uh, we'll probably have a reaction from that somewhere here and maybe after the end of the correction it will continue down or uh, we'll see uh, the main point is that uh, we expect a downtrend from here on the H4 we'll look for possible entries on the H4, H1 and M30 and hopefully we'll make some good profits out of this trading plan. Uh, this plan will be followed in the, uh, this week and probably uh, next week as well, depending on how it develops. Uh, I'll post the trading plan on TradingView, where uh, in the description you can see additional details regarding uh, the weekly resistance zones and daily support zones. Uh, and of course, uh, short fundamental analysis for this week. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. I hope you like the plan. I hope you join our Telegram channel. And uh, most importantly, I hope we'll be able to make some profits together. Our team wishes you a great and most importantly profitable week ahead.